Hey, superstars, happy Friday, and welcome to the 118 Degrees of Separation season finale. Before we reveal the winner, let's take a look at how we got here, shall we? I started the season with Roy Hobbs, played by Robert Redford. Redford was in The Sting with Robert Shaw, who played one of my all-time favorite characters, Quint from Jaws. Robert Shaw was in From Russia with Love, so I had to draw Sean Connery. Then I got tired of old white guys, so we went with the lovely Bridget Bardot, who was in a western called Shalako with Connery. Uh, Bardot was in a documentary about Joe Strummer with Grand Moff Tarkin, Mr. Peter Cushing. Peter Cushing was in a ton of old horror movies, including Horror Express with Telly Savalas, who loves ya, baby. So we went with Kojak here, and appearing on Kojak way back when was Sylvester Stallone. I do love me some Rocky, and I also love me some Arnie, who was in The Expendables with Mr. Stallone. I drew Arnold Schwarzenegger in Total Recall, but he was also in Collateral Damage with Mr. John Turturro. Turturro played the Jesus in The Big Lebowski, and he was also in Do the Right Thing with Giancarlo Esposito, who played our second Moff this season, if you're keeping score, Moff Gideon from The Mandalorian. Esposito shared the screen with my man, Mr. Burt Reynolds in Big City Blues. After Burt, we went with Gene Wilder, who was in Everything You Always Wanted to Know About Sex But Were Afraid to Ask with Burt. Uh, Dr. Frankenstein started a little run of Doctors because we then went to Doc Brown, played by Christopher Lloyd, who was in a TV version of Alice in Wonderland with Wilder. Our next Doctor was Dr. Frankenfurter, Tim Curry, who was in Clue with Christopher Lloyd. Uh, Tim Curry did some voice work with Pee Wee Herman, a.k.a. Paul Rubens, in Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas. Uh, there will be a test on all this later, so make sure you're taking notes. Almost there, I promise. Uh, Pee Wee was in Batman Returns with Danny DeVito. DeVito was in Sesame Street once with Cookie Monster. Also appearing on Sesame Street with Cookie Monster was Ian McKellen, who was Gandalf. And McKellen was also in The Golden Compass with today's subject, suggested by Douglas Beatty, King of the Mustaches, Mr. Sam Elliott. So congratulations, Douglas. As usual, it was super hard to decide. I really thought hard about drawing everybody and blowing your minds, but in the end, that just wasn't realistic for me. So I went with Sam Elliott because he's just so stinking cool. Way cooler than me anyway, so I'm gonna quit yapping for a little bit. It was really fun seeing all these together like this. I hope everyone had a good time with this season. I know it was a little tougher to win than it was in season one, and I want to thank you all for playing, and like I mentioned before, not being jerks. You guys are so awesome, and I'm so glad I could do this silly series, and it is so much fun to have a series like this that involves so much interactivity. So thank you, thank you, thank you. There's our man, and you know sometimes you eat the bear, and sometimes, well, he eats you. Thank you and congrats, Douglas. I'll need your address, so please email me. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and playing. I had an absolute blast this season. You guys rock, so take it easy, dudes. <laughs>